So, hello and welcome back to another video. So, uh, in my last video, I basically ran through my process and how to create the bottle. Um, I've officially done all of my bottles. Uh, I made a blog post about it, uh, denoting all of the different ones. Uh, and this is an example one, which are was frank, uh, which was frankly the last one that I did. I left it at the top, and once I'd done them, I put them at the bottom. Um, but as this is, as I'm already on this, uh, this is what it looks like. Uh, and so I'm going to jump in um, and just create uh, the liquid for it now. Um, it's a really simple, oh no, it's a really simple, um, simple way of doing it. Uh, basically, so the bottle's here. I'll turn the uh, lathe tool off or the lathe nerb. I've gone the path. <clears throat> oh no, I've gone the lathe again. Com uh, command C, Command V. That's duplicated it. Bottle liquid one. Uh, and pretty much, I'll just turn all this off. So this is now the liquid. All you do is you go to the point selection tool, go on to click on the path, and you just go right around the outside, making sure not to get any of the inside uh, edges, and just deleting all of these. So it's just leaving the inside edge. <coughs> this is for a few reasons. Um, so the inside edge is the exact shape of the uh, the inside of the bottle, obviously, because it's a copy. Um, and basically, this is going to allow for my liquid to just become really uh, to fit snugly on the inside of the on the inside of the shape. Uh, the next thing is to now bring this down. Obviously, I'm going to delete a couple of these because I want a, a low liquid level. Take that and just bring it down to about there. Um, and I'll leave that as is now just for ease of video. Um, and it's also a bit better to bring these in by not a whole bunch, but enough. So that way that they're not contact in the inside surface and then if you turn that back on uh, get rid of the glass texture and then I'll have to sort this out that might be that might help bring that in okay there we go right I will close that up as close as possible check the underside because that's probably done the same yes it has Okay, so I've got that one. That'll probably do, I'm not going to be able to see that. Oh, okay, and I've got a little ridge here as well. Turn that off. Delete them. Okay, smooth. Uh, I shall now turn them back on. So you've got the glass inside of the... So you've got the, the, the liquid, quote unquote, which is just a plain object at the moment, uh, inside the glass bottle. Which then, turn off the, ref just keeps it, yeah, keep standard reflectance on, crank that up, and then, so turn the colour up, turn that way up, let's turn the transparency on. orange liquid put that on side the lathe there we go back into the camera and render this out so after some time um, rendering um, and doing lots and lots of failures um, <clears throat> it finally rendered out and it, it looks really nice um, I had to change the material uh, I had to turn the transparency off because it took double that time just to go through all of its um, like caches and stuff like that in the physical renderer and just simply took way too long. 
Um, <clears throat> if we go back to here, you can now see that this um, kind of weird uh, cross-sectioning or uh, intersecting parts is no longer visible, and generally it looks really, really good. Um, obviously, this won't be the the final final uh, liquid that goes inside of it, um, but this has not only taught me two things. Um, uh, number one being um, making sure that the inside like liquid spline is just a, a hair bit more, uh, just a, a hair smaller than the actual inside um, profile of the bottle. <clears throat> uh, and as well as this, um, adding transparency onto the uh, material settings kills render times. That's what the uh, the material should have looked like. Um, and yeah, adding that significantly, so this rendered in two minutes, that would have taken, with the water, probably would have taken over half an hour. So that's just a really, really good point, a really good learning thing to have known. Um, if I am going to have to do that, I'm probably going to have to, if I am going to add transparency, I'm probably going to have to look at some ways to try and bring the, the time down, maybe by adding blurriness, or that might increase it even more, I'm not too sure, but Overall, this is the final, final thing. So thanks very much for watching, and I shall see you soon.